The rule of law, I think, is best understood by considering its opposite, which is the rule of men. The rule of men is when you have the rule of force, the rule of power, the rule of arbitrary subjective opinion. Rule of law means that there are stable, reasonable laws that apply to everyone, regardless of their station in life. In many developing countries, you really don't have rule of law. You don't have contracts enforced. You have corrupt judges. You have people who have judges sitting in on their own court cases who happen to be their brother or their sister. Try and imagine a football match without rules. Well, you don't get a game going. The rules are crucial to get that game going. But everybody knows how to drive a ball. Everybody knows how to buy and sell. So there's plenty of entrepreneurship in the, in the world. The problem are the rules. In two thirds of the world, there isn't yet the rule of law. Hernando de Soto is one of the world's leading experts in economic development. In his work, de Soto emphasized the need to extend the rule of law to the poor, who are often left out of the system by a wall of complex regulations that only the rich and well-connected can possibly navigate. A lawyer friend of ours in Lima told us Law is not a problem. Hernando, we've set up a small company for you in about 30 days. So we set up a small little workshop outside Lima with two sewing machines and put uh, four students under the supervision of a uh, mature lawyer to go out and take a bus every morning at eight o'clock and go out and comply with all the legal requirements to have those two sewing machines operate as a shirt making factory and it took them working eight hours a day, 289 days. That's when we became acquainted with the fact that depending on what side of the social scale you were in, the law was either a friend or was the big enemy and you had to change it. So we talk about it taking 289 days to register a business in Peru. I can guarantee you that if, you know, businessman X uh, from family, you know, A tries to start a business, he could do it within five. And we've actually have research that shows that, that within each country there's a big range in which things can happen extremely fast and efficient in developing countries if you know the minister, if you have connections. And if you don't, you're on the other end. So it's not that people don't have the capacity to be much uh, more efficient, it's that uh, the access is not democratized. The legal systems are simply unfriendly to poor people. 